Hey guys, back again today with another Chroma Fusion eye look. I'm going to try to make this one kind of short and sweet. <laughs> we know how that goes though. Um, so we're just going to jump right in. You kind of know how I do this. So eye primer, I'm putting it on my ring finger as always. Then I'm going to take the blossom color and I'm going to just put that all over the lid to set. Okay, and so for my crease color, I'm going in with Dusty Rose, and I'm going to just put that in the crease. Now I'm going to go in with this soft heather color and just deepen the crease. And then I'm gonna go into the shade I've used it before and it's probably one of my favorites um, but it's Merlot right here and I'm just gonna put it in the outer corner that outer V just tap in just a tap <laughs> not top tap in just a very little um, because it's very pigmented and we don't need a whole lot See how I've kept it in that outer V? I'm not going to take it through the crease because I want to keep it more soft and not such a harsh look all over the eye. So I just wanted that um, outer corner deepened. <clears throat> now I'm going to go into this shade here. It's called Golden Mauve. I'm going to use that same brush I was just using. And this is just going to go on the center portion of the eye. So I'm just joining that outer portion to the rest of the eye, but not in the inner corner. What I did was I just split my brush over because that's where I had the um, Merlot shade and I was just kind of like, you know, melding those shades together.
I'm going to take this smaller brush and to do this inner corner and I'm going to dip into this shade here and it's called Sunlit Rose. Probably another one of my favorite shades. I have a lot. Now I just dip my finger into that golden mauve shade that's in the middle and I'm just going to press it just on top just to make sure that we didn't lose the pigment and then it stands out. So there was a little bit of fallout, but as we have come to know, it's really easy just to dust it away. And there's no remnants of any fallout. So I'm going to take that smaller brush. I cleaned it off again. I'm going to dip back into that dark um, Merlot shade here. And we're tucking that up against the lower lash line. So I only took it halfway over. I'm going to dip into this shade here called Dusty Rose. I'm going to finish the rest of the lash line with it. See how I did that there? And then I'm going to take that underneath the Merlot as well and just kind of smoke it a little bit. I'm going to dip into this shade here and it's called Candlelight and we're going to highlight with that. It's going to go on the brow bone. And just to keep it nice and just like soft and fresh, I'm going to just leave the, um, with no liner today. I'm not going to do an eyeliner just so that we can keep it soft, fresh, and just not as harsh, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But I have something very special to share with you guys in this video. And I just got this in the mail yesterday and I'm so excited to try it out. This is my very first time trying it. But I got the Lash Love Fanorama Mascara. Oh, it's pink. It's so pretty. Look how pretty that is. Oh, just so pretty. I have a very, very limited quantity of these on hand if you would like to order. I'm more than happy to do that for you. Um, but please know that um, I just, I don't know how long this will be in stock and um, how long I'll actually have any on hand and how long I'm gonna be ab actually able to order because I know that it was selling out really quickly. Here is the wand on it, if you can see. Kinda cool. So I'm just gonna do my lashes.
I like. I especially like this wand, how those, you see the spikes on like the end of it there, how it's curved and there's spikes. Love that. It gets in the little lashes that are hard to get. That's what I like about it. I'm just doing a second coat just to see how it layers. You know, some mascaras you can't really do two coats with because it gets like clumpy and weird. So I just wanted to see what this looked like with two coats. It layers really good too. It didn't clump up on me. Oh, looks really good. I'm very impressed. And if you want to see, here is two coats compared to one. One coat's enough for me, but I, I mean, it layers really nice as well, so. Okay, I finished my look and I finished it off with, of course, the Fanorama Mascara and the um, OG favorite of the Rosewood lipstick. I mean, that's how much I've got left. That's how much I love this stuff. <laughs> and I have a backup just in case you're wondering. Um, but yeah, this new Lash Love is really good. So I hope it's something that they might consider keeping like around for the regular line that is like really good mascara. And it's not waterproof. I was just looking, I poked my eye. <laughs> you all know you've been through this like whole little thing with me with my red eye. Um, it's been a roller coaster. It'll get better and then it'll go back and then it'll get better and then it'll go back. So I've, I've decided I think it's allergies really um, because I've had this little pocket of fluid that came up on it a long time ago and um, it just kind of came up out of nowhere. And I had some testing done for some issues I was having and I actually had like a really, really bad sinus infection show up in that testing, which was kind of not even what we were looking for. Um, so that was kind of like a side note that they found. But um, so I just think that my allergies have gotten worse and that it's just part of it. And I know it's weird that it would just affect one eye and not the other, um, but I read that it can. So I'm, I'm thinking that that's probably what it is um, just because you know, it's taking forever to heal. So, um, hopefully it'll go away soon. <laughs> but, um, nonetheless, I really, really like this makeup. Um, these are probably some of my favorite colors to use. And, um, since doing like this whole Chroma Fusion, like little series that I've been doing, Mary Kay eyeshadows have been about all I've been using here lately. Um, I have tons of eyeshadow palettes sitting right here, right in front of me at this moment. <laughs> and, um, I've only used my Mary Kay. And it's just because they're so easy to blend. They're so easy to um, put on the eye. I mean, like, I have so many colors to choose from. And, like, I can just create so many looks out of what I have. And I just love them. So, um, I just wanted to share that with you. That they have been my go-to eyeshadows. Whether I'm making a video or not. So, um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. And I hope you're enjoying the series. I'll probably have at least one more video. Because I have an idea for one more look. Um... But if there's something else that I've not done and that you want to see, let me know in the comments and I'll try to do that for you. And I appreciate you so much and I hope you have a great day. Bye.